what is up guys it's soul bash we are back today with another video kind of an update on the character side and a uh, little bit of the upcoming update uh what we're looking at is i just hit 500k might this past week uh been playing for not quite a year yet but we're getting close and you guys that come from this page right here welcome to the channel uh we do a lot of awesome stuff uh fun stuff and we're coming up on 5k we should hit it very soon and we're gonna have another giveaway there uh but i just kind of wanted to update you on like what i've been doing i haven't made a video tai chi panda in like a week so i've been farming i've been in farm mode and really there's not a whole lot to talk about when you're farming it's just boringness of press and go again over and over and over uh, but I've been collecting stuff getting prepared to uh, get everything refined up to level 9 so I've got quite a bit of gear stash for market crystals I uh, don't convert them because if I do I've got a uh, good chance of I'll spend them on something I tend to not be able to hoard those very well but what we're going to look at is of course the stats and everything that I've gotten so far uh, of course, we're not going to be able to see any of that because I'm not level 100 and I have not done the prestige type deal, enhancement, whatever you want to call it for my character. Uh, but we are currently at 1.25 million health, uh, 35, 15 mana, uh, 71,247 damage, 155 hit rate. That right there, I need to up that definitely, especially getting on up in levels. Dodge rate is at 116. Uh, I'd like to have it upwards over 200 when I get done which I believe I should uh, crit rates it's meh uh, crit damage getting close to 200% and the rest of this uh, just basic stats 18% damage reduction um, not that beefy but I'm catching up definitely starting to catch up uh, but what I've been doing is basically uh, boosted myself to 80 I was 78 then I jumped from that to 80 in one day I uh, used the cards and what I've been doing is farming trying to get my pets leveled up to 80 and basically I'll go in here look what pets I need and I'll farm them I've been farming firewalker firewalker soul and basically what I do is I just go to the map uh, and find wherever he's at in here I don't remember exactly right there and I will enter that, and if I don't get the drop, I go again. Uh, it doesn't consume any constitution or anything, just takes up your time. But you can successfully farm 20 plus shards every day of any kind of pet that you need for those, uh, which is coming very, very handy. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. Um, let's see what else mounts uh, I did since tier 3 I've gotten two pieces uh, I'm still trying to get these other two pieces he's up to level 23 currently still working on that as well um, the reason I did up to level 80 was because of that I wanted to level the mount up and to be able to do that I want I needed more of the black hooves so I did this to uh, be able to do capital guardian hard and get these from it uh, to basically further progress the pet uh, team instances, uh, I do those daily, mainly, uh, all of them, all the high-end ones uh, that I can do, and Forlorn Depths usually gets entrusted because it's the most boring because autoplay doesn't work on it. Uh, Decathlon, uh, no, we can't reset it, but Store, uh, this is all I farm out of here from him, that's the only thing I really pick up from Decaf. Uh, Valor Store. I was farming uh, those for a while for my demigod, but now I'm basically done with it, except for getting these, I believe, uh, which I need quite a few more. I'll be doing those later today. I've had some requests for more PvP videos, so we may do some of those here soon. Uh, Bork, definitely been buying those daily as well. But other than that runes let's see we've gotten those up quite a bit I've tried to get the ones with the damage on all three slots and the damage in the first two slots leveled up to 81st which I believe I've successfully done 
on almost all of them except for this one I'd like to actually upgrade that to 28 or higher for the quality before I do it but catching up on runes it's become a lot easier since the activity store is out you know you can buy daily stuff from wrong page right here I mean go in the warrior store pick these up right here these boosts uh, at my level I'll probably get three levels on a rune a day uh, and you can also get them from the quest activity center right here I've not been buying these a lot lately I think maybe every other day because I'm farming refinement stones uh, reason I'm farming refinement stones is because I'm trying to get everything up to refine nine that is my main goal right now um, I could be working on the demigod which it does require refinement stones but I think I'm gonna hold off on it because I'm gonna eventually get more of a boost from doing the refined nine on my equipment than I would doing the demigod currently from just what I have uh, it's just something I decided to wait on uh, can't do everything at once uh, without spending a whole bunch of money so we're gonna do it this way uh, good thing about farming this stuff you do get a lot of purple equipment so you're actually collecting market uh, crystals while you're farming and also on the go agains when you're doing that if you do come across whichever one you're farming on the pets if there is a a shard here for instance say if this right here drops if I get that slayer scuff and I don't get the pet shard I'm gonna take that slayer scuff because that's gonna in turn turn into 200 market crystals which all you need is I believe 500 for a full set of 20 from the guild bazaar uh, I don't have any pets in here but we can go right here and you can see you can buy 20 souls of you know your common pets that you can farm and they're almost always in a guild stall and they're only 500 market crystals so if while along you're farming those and you see that that piece drops definitely take that piece of armor over that and turn it into market crystals because you only need three piece three of those to get the full 20 so if you get them in three runs and you get 20 shards out of it for the pet souls that's a pretty nice turnaround keep a very close eye on those when you're doing them uh, I know they're hard to uh, keep up sometimes you know just sitting here playing that uh, Tai Chi Panda and watching Netflix at the same time uh, that's basically been the past week of what I've been doing uh, there's not really a whole lot coming up that I know of so far I know they did release some information about the new 5 versus 5 PvP which is a capture the flag type uh, that's gonna be pretty awesome we're gonna go over that completely in a different video and I kinda wanna get a little bit more information on it to share with you guys um, but for now yeah that's what we're up to uh, we'll have a giveaway video up coming soon for the 5k and we look for the new PvP event I will look at that I might still have access to the beta server so I'll check that out I'm sorry not the beta server the test server um, and I'll check that out see if there's any information see if I can't you know do anything and find anything out about it from there uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you for watching as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.